Hey everybody, thanks for watching. This is going to be a match play match between nine holes between David, my friend, and I. Who can always play with me uh, very, very early in the morning. You can see the sun just came up. Here's David, the lefty, teeing off on the 10th hole at Skylinks in Long Beach. This is a good match. I think you guys will like this. Uh, David is hitting the ball really well at the minute with the driver really well. He's been doing this thing, uh, put in the comments if you guys have tried this, where he's been doing kettlebell swings and a lot of them, like thousands a day. And uh, he is really feeling like his transition is like the transition in a kettlebell swing. I hit it really solid, but left. But it turned out I'm in a better position than David. So you can see I just barely made it over the bunker. It bounced and stopped and David went in the bunker. So he's up on the face. You can see his ball there. I've got like 85 yards. Pretty good pass at it. It's just there was a little clump of grass behind it. So it landed on the green and rolled out to the back fringe. But I have a decent putt at it. And here's David from the bunker. He's got to put a lot of loft on it. So David pops it up high in the air and came up short here. Look at this guy, everybody. That is tough. Tim! Tim! Help! <laughs> David calling for uh, Tim Yelverton's help. But Tim's in Mississippi. Working with Kevin Kisner this week, actually. So here is David. Dude, played it really nice. Yeah, got a lot of a really good result out of that. And here he is putting for par. Just barely missed it. So that'd be a bogey for David. Here I am putting for birdie from the fringe. You can see the fringe is very kind of unkempt a little bit right there so a little like mottled and thought it had a chance for a minute barely missed so that's a par for me so I go one up in the match moving on to the par 5 578 yard par 5's 11th hole hit it pretty solid but uh it, it did leak out to the right just a little bit. It's in the fairway, but that kind of cut to it took a little bit off of it. But it hit it pretty solid. Here's David. This is his best drive of the day. He smashed this ball. Yeah, great shot. Nice draw. Yeah, not this morning. I don't think you can. I was saying this morning, I don't think you can get to the bunkers. He went almost past the bunker. He hit that like 20 yards past me. So this is a three hybrid, my favorite hybrid. I really like that swing. It was balance was nice. Hit a little fade. Uh, it was perfect layup spot up there. So good layup on this long par five. Here's David's three wood. He hit it. He hit it well. Straight end over that center bunker that you can see to the left of me here. All right, so you can see where my ball rolled to in the do, and this is like only 85 yards so I'm trying to just play it to my neck but you can see that little bit of uh, layoff or like like loopy oh, kind of feeling that was, awful. that was awful hit it thin all the way to the back of the green that's gonna be an, a very difficult that kind of shortens the radius to the to the lead edge and I just well, slightly bladed it and hit it 30 steps or no I think like 20 some steps past the hole so this is a long and very important lag putt in the match. David's in a good spot putting for birdie. So it's hard to tell because of the camera, but this really is far away. This is like a 60 foot something putt. And through the dew and all the footsteps and everything else, hard to judge. Really trying to focus on distance control and kind of the time and sound that the hit's gonna make. And the other thing is too that helps me out a lot when on those long putts is to make to have my partner, partner, playing competitor, or whatever, hold the stick because I know generally how tall David is. So it just helps me perspective wise. So that hole is squared, two par. So I'm one up in the match, going on to the twelfth hole, par four. Again, hit it solid, but that one I pulled left just a little bit. And there's trees up that left-hand side, and now I'm in a bad spot. Let's let's show the spot. 
that's where my ball is, right at the trunk of that tree. There's some grass clippings, quite a lot of grass clippings that have been thrown there. Then my ball's in. And here's David. Yeah, he just came from the inside out with a wide open face and blocked that into the 13th hole near the green of the 13th 165, hole. 165, David? Yeah. Okay. That's what I had been walking around. David has 165 yards. He's got to play it over some trees. Lefty. This is the best iron shot he hit all day. This is so good. Sound was awesome. We got some good height on it, and the ball was quite above his feet. Drew Give back onto the green. So I can't really play for the green here. I mean, if it was a very important tournament, I could really swing hard at this and like maybe break my hand on the tree, but maybe I didn't want to win this match that badly. So I did get good impact onto it and ran it up short of the green. I'm in a good spot here. These are the shots I just, I wish I could snap my fingers and be better at these shots where you have a ton of green to work with and this is a pitching wedge. So I'm so used to pitching with my 54 degree. I actually hit that exactly like I wanted to, but miss, uh, I didn't, I didn't read the green well there. It was a misread of the green because it totally stopped going up that hill. Putting for par, had a chance, didn't go in. So that's a bogey for me. David has made, here's David putting for his par after his great second shot. And nice. Good leg. So the match is all square going into the 220 yard, par, actually 225 yard par three. I've got the hybrid out, the one that I hit the good second shot on, on 11. So you, notice how my feet look like they're facing left and my shoulders are facing right. Hit just a beautiful cut in there. That was like a real power cut because it went far. It went like 232 or something with that hybrid off the tee. So that's great, especially in this coldness. Uh, so that was good. I'm on the, the back fringe. David teeing off. He's got an iron. And he does use a three iron, so it's probably his three iron. One. Yeah, it looked really good to start, but... Alright, so this is my bid for birdie from the fringe again. Pretty far to go from here. Nice stroke there. Could keep my head a little bit more still, but... Just misread how much it was going to go from left to right. The answer was not at all. And now I have a... That putt is not conceded, so I'm going to have to put a mark on that and let David go. This is David. This might be for birdie. I can't remember. Nope. It wasn't. That was David. So David makes a bogey there, I think. Pretty sure that was bogey for David. And this is for par for me, so that... All right. Back to one up for me, because David won the last hole. All right, one up for me. I made a par, but David made bogey. All right, so I'm back to one up. Going on to 14th hole. Dog leg left, there's a bunker in the corner. I mean, really, I should be able to carry that bunker, but I just never do. And this is one of those cases. Hit it all right, but right into the bunker. So I'm going to have face issues in that bunker. And here's David. Like I said, he's been hitting his driver well off the tee, and this is no yeah, exception. That was blasted. Perfect line. Way down there. Really good. He's got power for sure. David coaches some uh, guys on the PGA Tour, some women on the LPGA Tour. And he just made the uh, curriculum, basically, the, the I asked him to make a, a special warm-up for the Be Better Golf Schools that he just made. So that was pretty cool. All right, so I, like I said, it has some lip issues and pulled up on it a little bit, hit it thin. Still in the bunker. Remember, I'm one up in the match at the moment, but 
David is in a perfect spot up there. But I didn't get too upset about it. I mean, I just kind of went about my business and I hit a great shot for my third shot. So I actually have a putt at a par. So I kept my emotions in check pretty well. Or just not really in check. It's not like I was trying to like, you know, can up my emotions, but it's more like I kept my emotions in perspective, I think you would say more. David hit a good shot. He's going, he's putting for birdie. This is for par. David holding holding the flag, and I've made this putt before. No, but not this time. So that would be a bogey for me if I make that. And that's conceded for bogey. Here's David putting for birdie. Turn. Go in. And go. Uh, Somehow it doesn't go in, but he wins the hole. All right. Match is all square again. Match is all square again. That's right. All right, another par five. Dog leg left. David. That's a good line from the blue. Yeah, he hit it into the corner, like I was saying. That was, that's a good line from the blue tee. From the black tee, it's not really that great. So here I'm telling David about this thing called the Kofax drill. If you guys have the smash factor, do this drill and send it to me. I want to see you doing it on Instagram. Every once in a while, I'll try to do it on the course, and you'll see, you'll see the difference in the swing. See if you can catch what the difference is. Yeah, your speed's in the right place on that. See, I, but I, me, I, I never felt like I did anything. Right, I never felt like I did anything. Which is a, a big hint there. All right, so I hit, I hit the crap out of that ball. I really hit it well. Just uh, so far that it went through the fairway, which is uh, in the dog leg, which is really long for me. Hit another really good hybrid into this par five. And that puts me on the green putting for eagle, or actually on the fringe putting for eagle. That was really good too because there was I had to go around that big pine tree to the right. Here's David for his second shot after he had a good drive, but now he's in the bunker. So that was a little flat. It's a little fat. So David's in the bunker and hits an awesome shot. Great shot, ladies and germs. Out of the bunker. Oh man. Lands on the green, spins back towards the hole. He's got a reasonable birdie putt. Here's my putt for eagle, just barely on the fringe, up the hill. It looked like that hill was going to kill it, but I put a little bit of pop into it. The ball gets airborne. Now I've got like six feet for birdie when I was hoping for a tap in for birdie. David for birdie after the great bunker shot. Tiny bit of pool action on that. So here's to win the hole for me. So and this actually is the first time I've ever done the Kofax drill with putter. So let me just try it and see 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 what it's like. And I center cut it. So that was great. That could be something new for me. Yeah. Won the hole. So uh, Brendan, that's me. That's me right there. I'm up one. I'm one up with three holes to play. Par three. Hit this pretty good. It just kind of climbed the ladder a little bit, probably added loft to it in impact, and it fell down a little short, got kind of a medium to long length lag putt. And here's David. This is 167 yards, I believe, because it's blue pin. Drop shot. That was like a range swing. Yeah, David's swing looked like it looked on the range, which is really good. But I also came up short and was actually even shorter than me. So, David's putting. Both of us are using these Titleist AVX balls, which David is going to go trade in his Pro V1s for this ball. Uh, I think it's a great ball. It's the one I've been using recently. Um, I might... I don't know. I, I'm going to try it against my on some more, but might be switching to this ball. I'm not sure. All right, so this is for Birdie from pretty far away. And... It just always looked like it was gonna stop, but it never did. Now I have a downhill left to right putt, and I'll let you know that David and I both bogeyed that hole. We both missed those comebackers. So the match remains with me one up with two to play. I hit this really solid. And something funny has happened was I hit it so good and down the right down the right side, which is like the power slot kind of, because there's dry grass there, you can get a big jump. And David's on the cell phone. You missed it. 
he was texting or something, and he didn't see my good shot, which is uh, it's disappointing for me. Maybe connected to that is David hit a duck hook. Didn't go anywhere. All right, so he the, the flag is right in line with that tree that's right in front of David. Driver off the deck. Check this one out. Watch the ball. Whoa, mama. <laughs> Whoa. Great shot, <laughs> it like barely, uh, less than a width of a golf ball, missed that tree trunk. Look out for that rebound. Good one. Look out for that rebound. I was thinking, gosh. All right, so I got seven iron choked up just a little bit. For some reason, I felt like playing a choked up seven iron from uh, this distance, like 152 yards. Kind of a shortest backswing and like really aggressively swung to the finish. So good. Like <laughs> You're like, no fist bump. <laughs> yeah, I got denied on the fist bump there. That's the result though, hit it great. Here's David's par. second shot. I like to put it close. You got par, so par to push. Pull it out to win. All right, David says, Hard to push and hold it out to win. So no chance to make my putt. he's giving me zero chance of making my putt for birdie. He's just mentally thinking, okay, let me get this close and make make his par. I'm one up, up at the moment. Love it. Hit it good. Great. Hit it really good. Nice. Actually spun backwards a little bit. So this is David putting for his par. And really he's be important to make this one for him and just didn't get it there so that's bogey for David and this is my putt for birdie this is to win the match this putt right here to win the match let's see how I do I'm trying the same thing here that I did on that other putt really get lined up well I stroke that like an angel it's really good. All right, so that's birdie. Really nice. All right, so I won that match. That felt great. And uh, just happy with the way I putted and the way I hit my driver. A few other kind of loosenesses, but. Yeah, quality, long ones, good short ones. Okay, so uh, this is the 18th hole. So the match was over, but continue the, uh, continue the golf. Hit another really good drive. That's a little, like, I would like to have a little bit more control right up at the top. That's still a little loopy or it's uncontrolled. Hit a really good drive to here. Had seven iron in. Made an okay pass out of it, but that was just fat. And watched it up high in the sky. It was headed right at the stick. Went in the water. So that was a pretty lame, I felt good about winning my match, but felt pretty terrible about hitting that in the water. All right, guys, so t-shirt contest time. I give away a Be Better Golf t-shirt every single vlog I put up. So you definitely want to be subscribed to the channel to have a chance to get it. To win a Be Better Golf t-shirt, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel, click post notifications, and then write some kind of comment. And somewhere in, in that comment, write the words, um, did all three. So if you say did all three and your comment, I'll know that you're in the contest. And uh, one of you is going to win this really cool Be Better Golf t-shirt. Now check this out. This is really cool. This thing that I'm doing with Olin from Rockin' LMM Golf going on right here. Three what? Driver. I'm so stoked to put that on my club. That's going to look awesome. Totally unique. So this is them, the Be Better Golf Rockin' LMM collaboration head covers. Totally unique, one of a kind. Each, literally, each one is totally different because they're all made from different blankets, uh, Pendleton blankets. If you want one, go to the Rockin' l &M page connected to this post and uh, they'll set you up. They're really, really unique. Probably like, uh, definitely the coolest head covers I could ever want. That's why I got involved with Olin and his company. It's really, really cool. Thanks everybody.